So there's a conspiracy theory out there, uh, you know, one among gazillion others, but one that has had uh, pretty horrific consequences already. And, and the conspiracy theory basically goes like this. It basically says the Jews uh, in the United States uh, uh, want to bring, uh, uh, you know, illegal aliens, illegal migrants into the country, people from particularly uh, immigrants from non-Western countries, non-white countries, and they want to bring them into the United States. And, and the purpose of all this is basically to, in a sense, uh, destroy white America, to destroy whites because Jews hate whites, uh, and uh, and uh, and that they're trying to they're trying to import uh, to import all this um, it, all this into um, uh, you know into America. Um, because out of a hatred of whites, and they want to destroy the white characteristics or the white nature of uh, of America. Uh, you can, if you go on uh, Twitter, you can find uh, many, many, many people who are tweeting this conspiracy theory with uh, quotes from Jews, prominent or not so prominent, primarily not so prominent, talking about uh, talking negatively about white people and so on. I don't know, you know, I have no idea where these quotes come from, but uh, they're there. And, uh, and you can find them on Twitter, all with the idea that Jews want to get rid of whiteness and they want to get rid of white people. And uh, the whole illegal immigration into the United States is really just Jews, uh, you know, just Jews going after white people. Um, some people take this stuff seriously. Indeed, uh, Robert Bowers, um, uh, you know, took it seriously as he walked into the Tree of Life synagogue in Pittsburgh in 2018 and started shooting people, shooting Jews and murdering 11 people. Uh, you know, he, he wrote a whole me social media post and uh, he, he was basically, um, basically there to protect us from these Jews who are bringing in invaders over our borders, um, over our borders uh, in order to replace white people in America. This is part of Tucker Carlson's and others' replacement theory. It just replaced Democrats with Jews, but it's all the same kind of idea. Um, anyway, uh, this, uh, this was articulated, uh, this idea was articulated in a post on Twitter uh, by some anti-Semite, who I'm not going to give the, uh, the, the URL for. Uh, it was viewed by 1.2 million people, and this, this is the post. I'm quoting the post. Quote, Jewish communities have been pushing the exact kind of dialectical, dialectical hatred against whites that they claim to want people to stop using against them. I'm deeply disinterested in giving the tiniest shit now about Western Jewish populations coming to the disturbing realization that those hordes of minorities that support, they, that support flooding their country don't exactly like them too much. So basically saying, yeah, Jews hate whites. They've encouraged, uh, they've encouraged um, hatred against whites. As a consequence, they've encouraged migration of brown and black people into their countries. And now those black and brown people are turning against the Jews, and he shows no sympathy towards that. So this is the anti-Semitic, explicitly anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. Uh, it is disgusting on so many fronts in the way it deals with immigrants and the way it treats immigrants, uh, but even more so in, in, in the way it, it, it's talking about Jewish people, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Jewish people. You, you know, uh, Jewish dialectic against whites. I mean, that's the Jewish community has been involved in that. I mean, pretty stunning stuff. This is anti-Semitism 101, and and I would have never talked about it because it's it's stupid, and um, and and I, I wouldn't want to give it a platform on my show, and I don't think it's that that big of a deal out there. I don't think that that many people engaged in it, other than the fact that Elon Musk tweeted in response to this, you have said the actual truth. And uh, that's the reason this tweet got 1.2 million views. Indeed, Elon Musk's retweet got 6.4 million views. So now Elon Musk is playing around with anti-Semitic slogans, anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, anti-Semitic ideas, 
And, and nobody seems to care. Certainly nobody on the right is going to criticize him. Certainly Scott isn't going to criticize him. He's far too busy uh, worried about Talib and whatever to actually go after explicit anti-Semites because they're on the right. And after all, the right, they're our allies. It, they're against the left. So this is good. We, we, we should support them. These are the kind of people um, that promote hatred of, uh, of Jews and at the same time promote so-called Western uh, values. These people in the long run, in my view, are much more dangerous uh, in terms of what they can do and what impact they would have. Um, and, um, and yeah, this is, uh, this is the world in which we live. This is the world in which we live where the richest man in the world a man um, admired by pretty much everybody on the right, a man that supposedly stands up for liberty and freedom and American way and free speech, is expressing support for an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory and almost nobody says anything because who wants to go up against Elon Musk? This is how civilization disappears. This is how... This is how anti-Semitism and conspiracy theories like this become mainstream, become just like everything else.